Welcome to part one of this Getting Started series, your guide for getting the most out of Bassmaster Fishing 2022. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the basics to get you finding and catching fish. If you haven't already, be sure to play through the in-game tutorial as this will cover the basic controls and mechanisms. When you arrive at your fishing venue, in this case, Lake Hamilton, you'll find yourself at the starting dock. Take a look at the UI on the top left of the screen. The left part of this display is your fish finder. This provides information about the terrain on the bottom of the lake, the depth, water temperature, and if there are any fish swimming around your boat, indicated by the fish icons. The size of the fish displayed is indicating how big the fish are, and the more frequently you see fish, the busier that spot is. One thing to remember though, is that the fish are always on the move. So if a spot seems busy now, it probably won't stay that way. The right side is the map, displaying your current position on the lake. Let's head out and try and find a good spot. Once you're happy, you are ready to fish. But before we start fishing, let's take a look at the fishing UI. This number indicates your current reel speed. This can be changed by you anytime and has a range between one and five. Your drag setting is how much resistance your reel is holding your line with. The lower the number, the easier it is for the fish to take more line out and swim further away. The higher the number, the harder it is for fish to take out more line. The heavier the line you have on your reel, the higher you can have your drag setting before your line tension will max out. This indicates your current hook's depth in the water. This number indicates how far the hook is from you. This bar will indicate your current retrieval method. So for example, constant, stop and go, or twitch. This indicates the current speed and direction of your trolling motor. This bar indicates the hook quality. The better strike you land, the higher the quality of the hook. My advice would be to try and get perfect strikes every time, if you can. This is something you need to keep a constant eye on when fighting a fish. When the fish is swimming away from you and pulling on the line, that bar will go up. Equally, if the fish is swimming straight at you and you aren't managing the tension, the bar will go down. If the warning is flashing, you are losing hook quality and at risk of losing the fish. This can be managed by adjusting your drag, the position of your rod, and reeling or not reeling. When snagged, you'll see this visual guide to see how you're progressing towards releasing your lure. When green, you're making progress towards unsnagging. When red, you're at risk of snapping the line. Right then, now we're ready to fish. There are a few casting techniques you can switch between and various loadouts you can explore and create for different styles of fishing. You'll find you have three default loadouts already set up. So while you're learning the lay of the lake, feel free to stick with them before creating your own. While fishing, you can use the underwater camera to see the environment, fish movements, points of interest, and how your lure is behaving in the water. You can toggle between the underwater camera and the angler's perspective, but when the camera snaps back to your angle of view, you have a bite or you've snagged. Not gonna set any records with that one, but at least it's a good solid keeper. You can also use the trolling motor to move quietly and slowly around an area you're fishing without the need to hop back into the driving seat. This concludes part one of this series. In the next episode, we will look at snagging and waypoints.